John 6 gives us a different perspective to the feeding of the 5,000. It's the same similar sort of story as you've heard. You know, Jesus has been preaching for a long time and then all the crowd is there and it's really, it's more than 5,000 because they're just counting the men in that. So we're talking about probably 10,000 plus and Jesus has to feed them. Or well, the disciples think that Jesus needs to feed them. And so Jesus goes, well, what do we have? Go and feed them, disciples. Go and do it. And then John, one of the disciples, goes and finds a young boy who has five loaves and two fishes. And he brings that to Jesus, and Jesus uses that to feed 5,000 people. This scripture really fascinated me, and I actually wrote it as a kid's talk to do in a church for kids uh, and to talk to them about you can bring even the smallest thing to Jesus and he can take it and use it in an incredible way. And it's a beautiful message. And so I did that as a kid's talk for the church I was working at. And after that service, one of the little girls comes up to me and gives me a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper was lyrics written about that kid's talk that I'd done, saying, you know what, you may not have a lot, but everything you give to Jesus, he multiplies, he can do something with. She gives me these lyrics and we go, oh, we're going to have to make this into a real song because that's so awesome that she's responded, that she's felt like God has said something to her. And so we take the lyrics and I ask a few people in the church who are musicians, can you write a song out of these lyrics? And everyone said no. And so I asked Connor because I knew Connor could write songs. And so Connor started helping me write this, turn this, these child's lyrics that she'd written and turn them into an actual song, and it's called Christ is Here. From that, a lot of what we do now came to be. From what this little girl brought forth, we actually started Made Creative, and we started working together and writing songs off what that little girl had brought to us. And we got to play that song at the church I was at and she was super happy and loved it. And, you know, her family got to hear it at another church as well. And it was great. But this, this seemed to mirror in some way what Jesus does, which is to take what little we have and use it in a spectacular way. The last year and a half would not have happened if this little girl didn't give me these lyrics. It's incredible. The feeding of the 5,000 wouldn't have happened without this child giving his food that he had brought for himself up to Jesus so that he could multiply them. And I guess the question is, is not about the size or the skill or the talent of a person then, it's whether they're willing to give what little they have to Jesus. Because when Jesus uses it, he multiplies it. The story of this channel is giving what little we had. I could not write a song. I got other people to write my songs for me in high school when I was in music class. But I gave it a go and I gave what little I had to God and I worked with Connor and I learned how to write songs. And here we are, an album created, a channel. We just gave what little we had and Jesus does something with it. So that's the challenge for this month. What can you give to Jesus, the little things that he then can multiply? Food for thought.